the other day, um, for those of you who do not know, Tulsi's policy advisor got in touch with me and let me know that they're actually about to reintroduce the Off Act, which is the Off Fossil Fuels, I think it's for like Off Fossil Fuels for a Better America, something like that. But moral of the story is it'll completely get us off of fossil fuels by 2035 and by like in like seven years, we'll be 80 percent off of fossil fuels. So like by that 12 year mark that everybody is so worried about, Tulsi's bill gets it done and it is actionable. They have a jobs program in the legislation, retraining for jobs in the legislation, uh, deals with nuclear energy. I mean, oh my God, it's, it's, I'm like, I was reading through the list. I'm like, wow, how the hell has this not been talked about? Of course, because it's too damn good. Um, so what do you, what do you think about the people who are, or the, of the argument that people have presented? Oh, well, they should work together and, you know, push both of them. And because in my humble opinion, I feel like the Green New Deal, and this, everybody felt like this. They're like, well, it could be better, but it's a good start, right? Cool. I didn't have really a problem with that argument. But then once again, that that cult's personality kicks in, right? Everybody loves AOC. So they, they automatically assign AOC to the Green New Deal. And now we can't do anything unless we push the Green New Deal with it. And in my opinion, that's wrong because her resolution isn't even all inclusive, but they're saying, well, this can fit into the Green New Deal when technically, if, if you don't know how a resolution works, people, a resolution is a step right before a bill gets passed or right before a bill gets introduced. It sets up the framework for a bill. The problem is the bill has already been here since 2017 and now Tulsa is going to have to reintroduce it for this session because no progressive pushed it including AOC. So we'll see how that works out. But how do you feel about the arguments presented that we should push both? Because in my opinion, that's like saying push a Medicare buy-in until we get Medicare for all. And I think that's silly. I think we should be pushing the main bill that's already actionable. Yeah, I, I agree that Tulsi's bill should be, any progressive who claims they care about climate change, they should be talking about that um, full-throatedly. So yeah, if, if she has in legislation, all of the important steps that we need to take to address climate change, then yeah, progressives should be pushing that. As far as AOC and the Green New Deal, AOC should also be pushing Tulsi's legislation. And if she wants to add, because there's, it's not like, oh, um, there's a, a um, only one person or one bill that we can only uh, introduce to address climate change. No, this is a huge issue that's been ignored for decades. So if AOC wants to re, and it's, she hasn't even come up with a bill, and I'm not knocking her for it, I understand the, the, the process that she's taking, but she hasn't even come up with the bill yet. So if she sees Tulsi Gabbard introduce the Off Act, then she should come up, she should be pushing legislation that um, yeah. that works within that. That um, So she, if Tulsi, I mean, if AOC wants to focus on the high-speed rails, okay, then introduce a bill <laughs> that, that, um, uh, that you know gets the infrastructure like that's very specific to the high speed chat. rails. We got a super chat from Manny, and I'm glad he brought up this point because I I forgot. I always forget this. Manny said, uh, "Thanks for the super chat." AOC pledged to support the off back in 2017 while she was running, and that's true. Which makes it all. This is what I and I hate even bringing it up because it actually pisses me off at this point. I go from the point of like maybe dissension, like I don't agree with her to, okay, so it's about your ego. Because when you unequivocally back the off act, you knew how good it was. You knew 400 environmental and climate change groups supported this. You knew how many uh, sponsors it got and it damn near got as many sponsors as the Green New Deal did, but you knew it didn't get the coverage. So it's almost like in my humble opinion, she took advantage of a situation where she could have propped up a progressive ally and said, you know what? I'm going to introduce something more watered down. I'm going to fuck up the rollout because she did fuck up the rollout, to be quite honest with you. And I'm never going to mention the off act that I pledged to support again. And that's problematic for me because it seems like to me, you just want something with your name attached to it that you get to have that you get to take credit for. And I've watched some of the conferences she's spoken at, right? She talks about she gets invited specifically because of the Green New Deal legislation. And then instead of Hey, we also have this great bill because then I wouldn't think it's as nefarious. But when you have when you're getting invited on television to talk about the Green New Deal, you're getting to speak at conferences to talk about the Green New Deal. You're having all these interviews to talk about the Green New Deal. And there is something better right there that you already knew existed. That's problematic for me. And I'm not, maybe I'm being too hard. But do you understand where I'm coming from where it's like when you were running for office, you thought the off act was great. But now that you consider somebody your quote unquote competition, which you shouldn't see her as such, 
Now the all fact isn't good enough and you got to offer something lesser. Push that and never mention the all fact again. See, I, I, I'm not going to. I don't I'm not going to speculate on her motivations, but it is a problem that she is doing all these th this media tour and she's getting all of this attention to her and her climate change. Um, uh, her focus on climate change, she should also be lending some of that to Tulsi Gabbard and saying, you know what, I'm doing this, but I, I think that we should also be talking about Tulsi Gabbard's off So I agree with you on that. And it's it's like climate change is one of those issues that people on the left for the longest time have been saying we there shouldn't be any like infighting. There shouldn't be it shouldn't be a, a partisan issue. It shouldn't be a competition between different countries. It's the the planet is about to burn, and the window <laughs> of opportunity to address that exactly. is closing. And so, people have said that the Green New Deal, you know, like, oh, it's because of better marketing that it's getting more. No, it's not because Jill Stein, the Green Party, have been pushing this for how long? And the mainstream try to pretend it didn't exist. Why? Because it was really, really, really good. It was more similar to the off act than it is to the, the revamped Green New Deal. And so it's not the marketing. It is AOC's platform. That's what made it so popular. So now we have to deal with the nonsense of trying to get a resolution that hasn't even been voted on and passed yet. Because now we have to, first we have to pass the resolution, but now because it's incomplete, we have to revamp the resolution so that it's complete and then get that passed. And then what else we got to do? We have to put another committee together to do what? To pass the, to write the bill, put hundreds and hundreds of man and woman hours and labor hours into this bill and then get that passed. AOC will probably be in office, but the people who co-sponsored the original resolution may not even be in office by the time we finally get to discuss the Green New Deal being a thing. But the off act is here right now. It's already it already has the co-sponsors. It already has the support outside. The only thing it's missing is support from the progressives in the in the you know in the thick of it, where they can use their voice to uplift this. And then uh, of course the Senate uh, having a, a a bill that's similar, the heir apparent to the bill. And yet it, it takes one person to say something about it and she has it. That's, fr it's just extremely frustrating as somebody who I'm an activist first, you know? And it, I understand that the place that we're in in the planet, and it's not even just the planet, but economically, I know where we're at economically and we have a solution. And it's so frustrating to know that we're not pursuing it the way that we should be because of grandstanding. That's like, that's what's most frustrating to me. Yeah, so it, it's it's I'm, I'm with you. It's it's mind blowing. It's baffling. Every single elected progressive should be criticized if they have not or will not get on board with Tulsi Gabbard's off act. Because then, what are you doing? What we, we you you can't say you are, and unless they give some type of real policy disagreement or 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 some provision in in the off act that they don't like and they they want to be changed. Unless they do that, if they're just going to ignore it and be quiet on it, then that's a problem, and all of them should be criticized for it. So, yeah, AOC, but Bernie Sanders too, Pramila Jayapal, uh, um, Ilhan Omar, Rashida Tlaib, Ayanna Presley, Rokana, all of them should be criticized if they're just going to act like this thing doesn't exist. Because are you serious about climate change or are you not? Because you can't give lip service to it in interviews or when you're on the campaign trail, but when there's... A, a real sensible legislation being put forward, you can't just ignore that. If And again, like I said, if you have policy disagreements, you don't like a provision in it, then make that be known. I'm not saying you have to agree with it just because a progressive put it forward. And, exactly. and, and you know, Tulsi said that about the Green New Deal. She was the only one that had the balls to come out and say, well, I don't actually support the Green New Deal. And they were like, oh my God, are you serious? Well, why not? She was like, because it doesn't deal with nuclear power. Like, which is a big, I mean, she lives in Hawaii and is in the middle of Fukushima. Like, if y'all don't know, that's the nuclear reactor that leaked all over the Pacific. And now cancer rates in California are skyrocketing. The fish there are not good. I mean, it's a problem. And that's why nuclear power is such an important issue for somebody, especially from Hawaii, who has seen the effects of nuclear power and the fact we don't have any way to dispose of nuclear waste effectively. And so when she says this, nobody ever talks about why she doesn't support it. They're just like, oh, can you believe she doesn't support the Green New Deal? But why do they say, can you believe she doesn't support the Green New Deal? Is it because they understand what it lacks or what it has or because of who's behind it? Exactly. And and that shouldn't be a, a consideration for you to ignore legislation or whatever. Like I said, if you have policy disagreements, like Tulsi Gabbard had a policy disagreement with the, the Green New Deal, then you make it known. I'm, I'm never the one to say 
all progressives need to agree on this and there should be no debate about it. There should be no discussion. No, everybody's entitled to their opinion. But if you don't have a, 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 a strong thought out position on it, then I'm going to question you. Why aren't you supporting it? 